so uh, good evening everybody um uh, my name is abhinav and i have my colleague miss uh, shweta rajak with me today uh, we would like to welcome you to the expert talk series of product management of isbr business school uh, today we have you know uh, we have a really good guest uh, mr chanchal ghir he is a pass out of i am sirmor and 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 he is you know he is uh, he is a product manager at c data softwares he has also worked in companies like comcast and vodafone in his it career we welcome you sir thank you abhinav and just a quick correction on that i work in amdocs for vodafone and comcast so they were my clients during amdocs stint okay 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 yeah great sir so uh, so sir to start with the first question uh, uh, sir if you you know uh, Uh, give some brief about the subject, like you know, uh, some brief about product management. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, product management is you know something called a product manager is someone who is a glue between different stakeholders in a company. Uh, it and it's a quick uh, new term, I would guess. Uh, after the product companies uh, came into this world and now rising to the horizons so of or leading the world's growth basically the product the amazon the facebooks of the world so after this uh, companies it has been a process in the past but uh, the way in it it has been grown so it would say i would say it's uh, just a decade back uh, when it has been growing in the organizations and when the product managers has been uh, coming to a central role in the organizations uh, so what product management is uh, basically product management is uh, is a domain or is an area where uh the people who work in those industries define the product strategies the product road maps the interaction with the customers understanding the customer pain points now bringing those pain points and solving those pain points through the product and so that you know the product journeys the product user onboarding uh, the revenues for the companies it can be smooth and it can be on a on a good path rather than uh the predefined uh, divisive structures that we had so the product managers is someone of the product management domain is where uh, who define the strategies for the companies for the product companies and create a long term road maps for them uh, so that companies can devise their uh, uh, strategies according to it and then see where the revenue has to uh, how the revenues can be you know achieved as well as where the uh, resources can be pulled to uh, apart from that i would say that you know product manager is somebody who is a or product management is a domain which uh, continuously interact with the different uh, different stakeholders in the company Uh, he is an interface to the business people who are uh, interfacing with the outside client, be it the sales or marketing people, or be it the tech uh, tech persons who are actually going back and writing the you know the code uh, or devising your micro writing your microservices, creating your DevOps structures and everything. And apart from that, the user interface product management is also the one who is uh, or the managing the product in a way that you know the user interface or user onboarding or the way your product looks to the end user. uh the product manager holds an uh, 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 tight grief on a uh, uh, tight uh, you know grief onto it and uh, helps uh, helps a company to create a wonderful products so which can be you know envisaged by the users right so, so that's uh, so that's really great you know uh, that's a really eye opening answer for all the product management students you know who would like to take the subject uh let's go to the next question yeah so sir so coming to the next sir we would like to focus you on this that why should one do product management and how much product management is useful as a career first of all first of all again uh, going back to the last question that was right product management uh, why why one should do product management so product management is a very necessary skills uh, one should have in case you wants to be you know going into an it company or a product company uh, it it's not uh, only related to it but if you are in fmcg company and if you are leading a product for one of the unilever's brand right so you devise and structure how the product would look like basically you how the soap would look like to understand that you do uh, you do various customer research go to the customers comes uh, it's various uh, go uh, back and forth processes through which you devise your strategies uh how how the product will look like then you understand the customer then you go back to your r&d team again you come back uh, to a product to the customer and see you know if the com uh, company usually likes it or if the oh, sorry uh, if the customer usually likes it or not how the customer reactions is and on basis of those uh, interface those understanding those learnings a whole uh, product is being developed to a large scale rather than is just an mvp and that on mvp the product management brings the whole perspective of 
uh, and cre increasing the size of the product or increasing the size of you know uh, manufacturing in uh, in the FMCG companies or any any of the manufacturing units. And IT companies, a product manager is uh, someone usually who is very close to the product, uh, be it at a developer side, be it at a marketing side. Uh, I, I hope uh, some of uh, you might have heard about the product marketings. So it's also a new team now where the product marketing is very specific. Uh, it's not a whole marketing of the company, but marketing at an uh, initial level of how your product is uh, uh, product is created to benefit some of your users. It's a user persona creation and how the users are being targeted. That is that goes through the product managers. They devise and strategy. They devise or they tell the product. Uh, marketing guys that you know this this is the uh, target segment we are looking for and this is how you should target the uh, target this audience so this is where the product managers comes into play they act as the uh, they sit at a very very sweet spot you know uh, being a product manager in my company uh, i usually in day in day out interact with people from marketing people from sales people from pre sales people from dev ux qa so other roles do not have that much liberty to talk to each and everyone and we as a product managers have those liberties have this you know a broader view a broader vision to product so that's what uh, being in product managers looks like uh, there are people who say is a ceo kind of a thing for a product manager i don't see it as such uh, but i don't see it because uh, your role is very specific right uh, you can you can influence and the product manager is a influencer person in the company but uh, there's a lot of uh, stages in a company that influences a growth uh, so we act as a catalyst for them if uh, we do the persuasion and everything but again it comes as a part of the whole uh, whole you know the ecosystems we are the part of whole ecosystems and we have that uh, grip over everything that uh, we can uh, change the course for it and uh, coming to the career side i'll say i love product management and it's it's a very uh, niche uh, area where you where you can move into any any of the areas so, uh, there was time when management consultants were the one uh, who worked on uh, consulting projects from one and switch from one uh, uh, one project to another uh, so if you are in product the same things i would say that uh, you get a broader view you get a broader understanding of the market you have an interface with the customers uh, you have an interface with marketing and you get a very very you know a broader vision as compared to any any other domain i would say so your your role is is not very specific it's kind of you you create your role and you you know uh, create your own strategies so it's very good to be in part of uh, and it's very exciting career basically and uh, i'll say so for, and if people are looking from you know both so currently the product managers are in very high demand and as well as in uh, there were days uh, there were days in uh, management schools uh, where investment banking was used at the first place then then comes the management consulting so now the product management has got to that leaks right uh, where, where they are defined at a, at a higher level on both uh, the users the students basically and as well as the companies all right so uh, yeah. so as you are already a product manager so we also want to know that why and how much do a company needs a product manage management or a product manager i'd say you know different companies uh, product management is a kind of a broad term because some companies use them as a product owner uh, some companies use them as a business solution consultants too uh, it shouldn't be but yeah definitely it happens in the industry uh, so product managers are very useful in a product company uh, because uh, the way uh, people from product management envision the product is uh, slightly different from the people who are in you know solution architect kind of a position or the product owner kind of a position uh, because the uh, vision they have or, uh, or you know the scope they have of understanding the problem is totally different in both perspective uh, companies need product managers to create their long term strategies to create a broader vision for them to create a mission critical functionalities uh, it might not be the so that uh, because product managers are you know companies can function without them but to growing above an extent definitely you need a product managers uh, there are there are a lot of things but yeah this is one of the aspect because in a growth uh, there are product uh, growth managers too who usually focus on you know uh, getting more customers on board the ways to envision them the ways how your user onboarding can be uh, can be very aligned uh, it can be very you know 
hey, very easy for a user to come to your platform and grab the services or buy your services uh, rather than focusing on how to use a product, how to understand a product. Uh, if you give a, uh, give a solution to any engineers or it would be like, they're good in coding, they'll create the solutions, but the way it has to be uh, sold to an end customer, the, uh, the nitty and gritty of it uh, should be very, very, you know, easy and easy to use is the main feature for it. Uh, so this is where the product management can come because they can come and interact with uh, interact with a uh, broad spectrum of the customers, the target personas they are finding to, you know, to, to build their product for. Uh, so companies need them. Uh, and it's usually, it's now a norm that uh, uh, mo most of the companies are, product companies are opening this position for the product managers. Uh, there are different kinds of it, be it to product analyst. Starting ages can be the product analyst, somebody who do the data analysis and do the market research for them. Uh, but creating a broader level strategies, creating a GTM strategies, helping out marketing teams on GTMs, uh, creating uh, a resource broad uh, or you know product led uh, growth journeys. Uh, companies definitely need a product managers. So we can play around the data and uh, have a process is more automated as well as more smoothened uh, rather than the way it was uh, before before the time. So definitely yeah. a company's need and I would say given the spectrum, I'll let, let, just talking about the Indian Indian context as of now, given the spectrum, the digital first approach where we are leading towards and the way we are moving from service mindset to a startup mindset. Uh, definitely people with a product management background, people with a good product understandings are required in the industry uh, more than the before. It's a, uh, uh, you know, so that was, <clears throat> so that was really good. Uh, after, like, you know, after finding out that a product manager has so many responsibilities, I wanted to ask you, um, can we compare the success level of a product manager with, you know, uh, with the other domain, uh, you know, uh, managers? I would say product manager success can't be compared as uh, because the product success is a uh, joint effort from different, you know, different stakeholders. Uh, as I keep on mentioning that, you know, product managers is a glue between different uh, stakeholders in a company. So you can create a whole uh, world-class product, but the, if the product doesn't reach to an end audience through your marketing, or if your sales doesn't uh, tap on the people uh, that we need to uh, sell, out, uh, sell out a product to, uh, so definitely, it's it's a very co-joint effort with each and everyone. Uh, because for us, the KPIs is uh, the retention, the KPIs is user onboarding, the KPI the KPIs are uh, the revenues we are bringing, the ROIs we are doing. But these all are uh, these all are you know collective effort from a different team. So product managers uh, can be successful when he has a very good coordination with each of the team members he had uh, from different team. Okay, uh, because he's somebody who leads with no authority. He doesn't have his own team. But yeah, again, he's, he's a co-joint between a different team and uh, till the time you don't work in coordinations, you don't, uh, you know, give away the freedom to others as well as uh, let them lead their own way and help them just to help them, you know, that process uh, that this, this can be the better way to do it or this is what our data shows. Uh, the product manager's success cannot be, a product manager cannot succeed uh, till the time he doesn't have the persuasion skills for himself. For others, the KPIs are very, very cited one, and they have they have their own understandings and their own specific domains to capture on. But ours is uh, totally based on uh, what the whole team bring together on the table rather than just a single person uh, and dragging the car. Right. Okay. Uh, so, sorry to come on to the next question. Uh, uh, but you know, so most of the students whom we have spoken to, they, you know, they've always had this one question that is, uh, what are the basic, you know, skill sets that you need to get into product management or even think of getting into product management? You know, uh, so if you could throw some light on that, it would be great. So there are means, uh, I'll, I'll just say draw, uh, two broad categories of it, uh, the hard skills and the soft skills. Uh, let me let me go on the soft skills because you know hard skills can be earned through uh, learning basically if you give your hard work into it and you learn daily you'll 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 get the hard skills uh, but the soft skills like uh, communication skills the empathy towards users as well as your teammates the persuasion skills because we are the one who brings the idea but if to bring those ideas onto the floor it needs a persuasion uh, from a ux level a person an engineer to a top level level to the ceo uh, as well as in case it's a startup to, to convince to the board, right? Uh, because nobody is going to pay to your uh, product idea if they don't see any outcomes to it. 
so it's a persuasion you have to show them the vision you have to show them you know this is what we are bringing to the table this is how the companies will be impacted in the uh, in the next round or in the future uh, when we uh, when we go live with the product so product managers uh, need those uh, persuasion skills uh, apart from that i'll say uh, uh, else? yeah uh, there's one thing called <laughs> self management uh, a good thing to have uh, because uh, you are your day in day out uh, hold ups and meeting with a different kind of stakeholders and definitely you'll have your own wo uh, work to carry on right so that's very much required a self uh, control on yourself that this is the time i'll be dedicated to myself daily and this is how i'll be improving on the product side or improving on my my core skills so that's needed and uh, the last one i would say the delegations uh, the more you delegate your work the more you can you know observe from outside and just uh, enter into it enter into the space whenever it's required so that i'd say will be the will be the most important soft skills so a product manager should have apart from high uh, this hard skill i would say the basic one is uh, research mindset as well as you know uh, customer customer centric approach to a product uh, because uh, yeah, for every 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 ifs and the, uh, ifs and buts there are products available in the market but to understand what's the pain point the customers are facing while using those product this is where the product managers come into play and this is what they have to solve all uh, right uh, for doing for doing any of the processes there were facebook before facebook there was oracle right uh, sorry uh, there was awkward not oracle sorry my bad there was awkward but uh, yeah you have to understand how the, how the facebook is different how when the facebook's uh, user retention was getting down how the facebook brought a new wall feature how the facebook bought uh, uh, to to introduce people they know to you know to search more pe people on the frame adding uh, adding the farm villain uh, everything everything apart from that so product